Greetings, my name is Stefan and today I will show you how to use the present perfect tense properly. So what is present perfect tense? It's a grammatical combination of the present tense and perfect aspect that it's used to express the past event that has present consequences. To understand it, let me show you that in a couple examples. First thing we need to know about present perfect tense is that it starts with a form or structure that's subject plus have has plus past participle, which typically ends in ed. For example, walk plus id becomes walked. I have walked to the store or he has walked to the store. Past participle is also known as irregular verb in past participle. Irregular verb is actually taking normal verb and you add something to the end. Let's demonstrate the structure on a couple examples. I have had a lot of fun. He has been learning a lot. They have created a beautiful project. You have chosen to watch a video. She has asked for more lessons. Now remember we said that past participle oftentimes ends on ed. You can actually see it here and here. But here, here and here, you don't see it ending on ed. On a first example, have is helper word for had. In second one, has is helper word for been. So it's very important to know when you can use it. Let's see a couple more examples in singular forms. I have worked there. You have listened carefully. He has cleared the table. She has placed it on the floor. It has snowed. For plural forms, we have walked to school. You have watched the tennis match. They have marked the tests. Now we need to pay extra attention to the verbs that end in an E, such as live, close or wipe. For these verbs we use the auxiliary verb to have and the past participle, but the past participle is made by simply adding a D to the verb. So, have, has plus past participle, verb plus D. For example, I have lived here for quite some time now. He has closed the window. They have wiped the floor. We also need to pay attention to the verbs that end on a Y. Especially these proceed by consonants such as spy or study because we change it Y into I. So for example, he has spied on his neighbors. We have studied hard. Now let's see how verbs become irregular. Have becomes had, be becomes been, create becomes created, choose becomes chosen, ask becomes asked. We also have negatives. They simply mean opposite of doing something. So had becomes have not, been becomes not been, create becomes not created, chosen becomes not chosen, asked becomes not asked. Instead saying I have had a lot of fun, you will say I have not had a lot of fun. Been becomes not been. She has been learning a lot becomes she has not been learning a lot. Create not created. They have created a beautiful project becomes they have not created a beautiful project. You have chosen to watch a video becomes you have not chosen to watch a video. Now let's talk about conjunctions. In English language many times when people are talking they will short their speaking so it's important to understand these conjunctions. It's actually combining two words in one. So have not will become haven't did not will become didn't, cannot becomes can't, will not becomes won't. I have becomes I've, he has becomes his, she has becomes she's, and they have becomes they've. 
And finally, we have asking questions in present perfect tense. Instead subject being first, we have have has plus subject plus past participle. For example, has he been to the store? Have you turned your homework in? Have they completed the project? Now, in this last example, again, we have have has plus subject plus finally past participle, who is, how we said before, usually ending on ed, but not always. Here are a couple more examples for regular verbs. Has she talked to him yet? Have you kicked the ball? Have you ever worked on a farm? For our irregular verbs, we also use auxiliary verb to have and the past participle, but now the unique present perfect form. So, for example, has she quit her job yet? Have you ever driven a car? Have they ever paid for dinner? Let's have a look at the present perfect in negations for regular verbs. Have has plus not, haven't or hasn't plus past participle, verb plus ed. For example, I haven't listened to the news. It hasn't rained since Friday. They haven't closed the window. For irregular verbs, we also use verb to have and not contracting it into haven't and hasn't and past participle. For example, she hasn't quit her job. You haven't even driven a car. Infinitive form of the verb is to drive. They haven't paid for dinner. Again, the infinitive form is to pay. Let's have a look at the present perfect in use. We use the present perfect for things that happened in the past and it's not important when they happened. For example, I have been to Scotland. It's not important when I've been there, it's important that I've been to Scotland. They have decided to buy a car. Once again, it's not important when they decide, but decision alone is important. We also use the present perfect for things that started in the past but have continued in the present. For example, Bob and Jack have known each other for ages. For example, they met in 1970s and they are still friends. They have lived there since 2011. So they moved there in 2011 and they've continued to live there. We also use present perfect when the following words are in a sentence. For, yet, never, ever, just, already, signs. For example, I have lived here for three years. We haven't seen that film yet. Have you ever watched a football game? Now you know how to use present perfect tense properly. Once again, my name is Stefan and I hope to see you in the classroom very soon.